I'd like to talk about the children affected by the war in Syria, mainly because there are so many of them. According to UNICEF, it's about 14 million, and it breaks down like this. There are 5.6 million children who are inside Syria who are suffering from the war in all kinds of ways. Then there are 2 million children. It's actually 4.8 million people, but 2 million children who are in far outlying areas where AIDS cannot reach them. Then there are 2 million children who are in refugee camps in several of the countries that surround Syria, like Turkey and Lebanon and Jordan. And then there are 3.6 million children who live in those countries where there are the refugees. And they are affected because the services that would otherwise be available to them have to be shared with the refugees. And so altogether, as you might mentally know, it's about almost 14 million children. When you remember that the war in Assyria is on its fifth year, then you realize how tragic it is for some of the children. The younger ones, they've known nothing but war. And the older ones, they've scarred. And they're not only scarred because of their experiences in the past and surely the present, but also the future. Because not only is there no schooling, but even if the war were to end tomorrow, it would take years to rebuild this country. We, it is essential that we help all of these children and all of these people. And AIDS agencies are trying very hard, but the international community is dragging its feet. We should help them for practical reasons, maybe, because violence breeds violence. And these children exposed to violence will probably grow up to be violent adults or to think of violence as a norm. But we should help them because they are suffering human beings. Thank you for listening. I'm Danielle Levy.